the board has cured, in other words, the resin has dried. We've actually done a little bit of sanding because the filmmaker was not here yesterday, so we got started on the sanding, but the sanding involves basically a lot of sanding. We've got the big grinder with these things called soft heads that you attach to them and uh, and then this smaller buffer and basically you've got paper that goes starts at about 80 grit and then goes up to 600 or so and the last stages are with water because you don't want to go through the resin you'll end up with foam and then you'll have to fix it and that's like a big problem so it's slow and easy and it's something you can only learn with practice but um, be careful and now I'll demonstrate the one thing I didn't mention is this part is easy it's flat everybody gets that really quickly it's the rails that present the challenge I would say never use this on the rails. You can use your, you know, you can use your arms, you can sand it with paper, take down the rails. If you use this, you're bound to go through really quickly and hit the foam, and that means patching stuff. So don't do that until you really master the feeling for the grind. That's the basic motion, and I'm on 120 now. As I said, we start with 80, and you go down. I work on the rails with the smaller buffer, and by hand. And then we'll show you the, the water process. That's the next step. So what we've done, since we're using epoxy, we started with 80 grit on this thing worked our way to 400 and 600 just a little bit on the dry side but you always have to be careful you don't burn through because of the heat and you get bubbles and like that's really bad so what I do is add a little water with this thing the power pad and we're on 600 now and do a little pre-polish. And what I do is keep moving all over. And with the soft pad, you can hit the rails a little bit without burning through. And because it's wet, you can stay on it longer. And in a moment, we'll get to the buffing polishing part and we're getting very close to finally being done. Alright, so we've gone through on our various uh, grits of sandpaper. I go up to 600, sometimes they even go up to 1200. I think that's overkill. Most people probably don't go that high. Uh, what we do now is use a little buffing compound, put that on the bonnet. buff out the board. And 
then once you've done that, then you've just got to add like a UV protector, which I'll show you next. So we've gone down to 600, and then we buffed with our buffing compound, and now we're going to put some acrylic Teflon sealant with UV protectors on the board, and that's the last step. I'm going to rub that in. I think it's the, uh, the UV protector that is crucial. Any kind of resin will go yellow in the sun. I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum. Some of the resins have some of that in there, but this is a nice thing to put on your board. It makes it kind of slippery. And then you just polish off. Like so. And that's it. Alright, this is the official end of the video wrap up part of the video. What I would like to stress is this is really fun for a certain kind of person. Uh, unless you like making a big mess really figuring things out and working with your hands I think going out and buying a surfboard is so much easier it takes a long time to get good at this it looks kind of easy it's not um, so it just depends on the kind of person you are the other thing is what I've done is showed you the way I do it. There's again, there's lots of different ways, and I'm constantly learning. For instance, um, on my next board, I'm going to try a different resin that blushes less. In other words, it dries smoother. There's an additive that speeds up the curing process from an outfit called Resin Research. I don't know if, if it's really true, but if it is true what they say, then I'm definitely going to switch over. It's more expensive, but should be better and also I started the first layer of fiberglass on the bottom I think on the next time I'm gonna start on the top maybe that'll make this part of the board easier to make perfect so I'm going to for, for everybody that gets a uh, one of these DVDs there's going to be the classic handout that will outline all the materials and all the ways to source those materials and in and I think uh, I'd like to thank all the people that were involved in the production of this production and that's it thanks bye